do you see ways that we can maybe reach more fully some students through a combination of ideas and methods that we used during the pandemic? I almost found that, so I did spend quite a lot of time making these videos. And then in the fall term, I actually taught the same course again, which was great because I have had all these videos, but I got some feedback from students in the fall term that it was, it was almost, there was too much content because my, in my videos, I went through like how I would do a lecture, right? Let's introduce the topic. And I broke them up into smaller pieces, but there were, I don't know, over 200 videos for them to watch. And what I realized is like some of that content, they can get that anywhere. And maybe it's more exciting than the way I'm presenting it. But what, like, what can I bring to them that isn't just definition, theorem, you know? And so what I got from some students was they want examples, right? They want sol me solving an example and maybe an example that takes a couple of topics and you know combines them into one question. So that's sort of something that I've been kind of working on quite a bit this year is saying, okay, forget it. It doesn't need to be this complete set of video lectures. Um, it can just get up there, do an example you know, and, and throw that together. And that's the kind of stuff that I've been kind of working on um, this year to improve these lectures. But that was one of the things to keep in mind. Like there's so much out there. Don't do too much, you know, kind of dial it back a little bit so as not to overwhelm the students. So Fiona, in your last comment, you made some remarks about kind of the attention war, if you will. It's really hard to get students it's hard to know if students are paying attention uh, in the online environment. I actually used um, this platform Loom to record my videos and it creates a link and I can actually see how many students have watched it and they can even leave little reactions at certain points in the video, whether it be a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a yeah or a laugh or whatever. So that was one sort of way that kind of replicated the class. At least I could see, okay, I'm putting these things out there because I really had no idea how many students were going to look at them. So it was a bit of reinforcement. Okay, somebody's looking at these things.